Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the special meeting of the Council. Do you have uh, apologies? I have apologies, Provis, from Councillor Montgomery, uh, Mr. Borden, Mr. Hayes, and Mrs. Harkness. Okay, the order of business. Provost, um, as members are aware, uh, Councillor Constable resigned yesterday as a leader of Middle Lothian Council. In light of this, uh, Provost Wallace has advised that he proposes to take two additional items of urgent business at today's meeting, namely item 3A, the election of the Leader of the Council, and that's a report by the Director of Resources, and item 3B, to deal with any immediate consequential appointments that may then be necessary. Uh, the Provost is of the opinion that this business should be considered at today's meeting as a matter of urgency, given the need for clear political leadership at a time when the Council is facing a range of important challenges and the need to ensure there is no delay in filling this important role and any immediate consequential appointment or appointments that may then be necessary. An updated agenda sheet was circulated this morning showing these additional items and the Director Resources Report for Item 3A uh, entitled Election of Leader of the Council was circulated today. I have got spare copies here should anyone need one. The to follow paper for item 4, uh, a new leadership structure for Midlothian Council, that is a report by the Chief Executive, was circulated last Friday. Thank you. Councillor well, Just a, a point of information, uh, probably uh, I would ask of the Chief Executive. Are you happy with the paper that has been provided to all elected members under item 4, given there has been new information that you received prior to today's meeting? In that, there is no amendment. There's, or are you going to do a verbal update on, on the paper? Well, I will introduce the report when the, um, when the time comes, but the report is, I'm satisfied with the report as. Um, as it is, but we'll update. Okay, is that it? Councillor Johnson. Can I have um, a copy of 3B? I don't have that. There's no paper. There's no paper. Oh, there's no paper. He said there was. Councillor Johnson, if you wish to speak, could you speak into the microphone, please? Thank you very much. Thank you. Just to remind members, this meeting is recorded. Are there any declarations of interest? I want to remember, remind members that they may declare interest at any point during the meeting. We went to item 3A and a report by Mr Blair, the Director of Resources. Thanks, Provost. As we've already heard from the League and Secretariat, Manager, yesterday the Chief Exec was notified of the resignation of Councillor Bob Constable from the role of Leader of Midlothian Council. In light of this resignation, Council is invited to elect a replacement leader, and the papers referred to earlier, Section 2 sets out the background, Section 3 outlines the procedural issues as determined by the standing orders of Midlothian Council, and today as Council is invited to duly elect a replacement leader. Thank you, Provost and Council. Thank you. Councillor Constable. <coughs> Thank you, Provost. I wish to propose Councillor Owen Thompson as leader of this Council. And with you and members' indulgence, I would just like to say what a privilege it has been for me to lead this Council for nearly a year and a half and to reflect on what has been achieved with the help of Owen as Deputy and with the rest of the SNP through independent coalition. We have introduced the living wage for our lowest paid employees and also the policy of no compulsory redundancy. Both SNP manifesto policies delivered, along with the introduction of 600 hours of nursery provision. We have maintained the council tax freeze for two years. We have opened the magnificent last wage centre and high school, along with the new Burnbury primary. As the First Minister said at the opening of Last Wade High School, it is the best school in Scotland. It is a model for others to follow, and as this administration will be doing at New Battle, we will be doing just that. I have a lot to be proud of, 
uh, in my period of administration. However, as is so nicely pointed out by the opposition to today's press, Bob is not getting any younger. How ageous is that? Now, the leadership of this council is a challenging position. And it is out of the respect I have for this council and the people of Midlothian, I have come to the conclusion, as I said in my letter of resignation to Kenneth, that it was time to pass on the baton. In proposing Owen, Owen's the youngest member of our administration, but paradoxically the most experienced. Uh, it has been over eight years since uh, Owen won and the by-election in Lone Head. I was his election agent. I must have been very good at it. Uh, I look forward to Owen's leadership of Midlothian Council. Uh, this council deserves the best, and Owen will be the best leader for Midlothian. Thank you. Councillor De Vink. Owen Thompson has greatly impressed me with his grasp of council's affairs, his deep knowledge of all the different issues that we deal with in this council has impressed me greatly. Owen is willing and greatly able to take on this task and I have the greatest confidence in him. As such, it's a great pleasure and even an honor for me to second him. Thank you. Councillor Muirhead. Thanks, Provost. Um, I would like to make uh, a nomination uh, for Derek Milligan um, as leader of the Council. This is not uh, a proposal um, that should be looked on as being um, anti uh, Owen Thompson, um, who is the SNP uh, nominee. It is about priorities. It is about focusing on the issues that matter to the people of Midlothian. And we believe, the Labour group believes, that the priorities of the SNP administration over the last 18 months or so have been wrong. We believe we have an SNP administration that's focused on the referendum and no offending anybody prior to the 18th of September uh, next, year, uh, next year, and also their own internal party squabbling. As a result of that, we believe that Midlothian has been put on hold for the last 18 months. We believe, we believe you know, Bob mentioned um, the praise of the First Minister for the Lasswade uh, High School project. I would remind him that the, the, the First Minister praised the Forward Thinking Council for the delivery of that uh, school. Labour were in control when that school was proposed, when it was built, it was opened by the SNP. No built or proposed. The forward thinking that was done on last week was done by the previous Labour administration. We believe that the priorities of the Labour group are much more in keeping uh, with the people that we represent. Labour would not, be, would not have been prioritising free music tuition ahead of free care alarms for our elderly and vulnerable people. We would not been, have been prioritising Midfest over the maintenance of our schools. We would not have been cutting wages and jobs of our frontline staff, such as our cleaners, before reviewing our staff here in Midlothian House and the public relations and human resources areas, which was suggested by uh, Labour during the budget debate. This is not about personalities. It is about priorities. We believe the current administration are out of touch and are, as I say, are far too focused on their own inter internal party squabbles. We have here a five-member cabinet which has seen 13 changes over the last 18 months. We have a council that meets less now than it did under the previous administration. It meets six uh, times. Although I've got to say that the amount of special meetings that we've had kind of, again, re-emphasises the point that we've made that we need to meet more often. The people in Midlothian need a stable council focused on providing services to the people in Midlothian in difficult times, not one 
that engages in playing musical cheers with one eye on the referendum and the other on their own party colleagues. I move uh, Provost Derek Milligan as Leader of the Council. Councillor Dimery. Thanks, thanks very much, Provost, uh, Members of the Council. I'm quite happy to second uh, that nomination. I think uh, what Councillor Muirhead has, has covered more than emphasises the need for Midlothian to have a clear direction. You can't put Midlothian on hold. You cannot just say that we, we wait till next year and we promise everything to all the people that happen to have an opposition to some of the things that we have to do, uh, then everything will be all right. We don't live in a land of milk and honey. And we don't also live in a, in a position where freezing the council tax for the last six or seven years has actually been benefits to the communities out there. Because week after week we have seen the cuts in services. We have director's reports coming up every single month or every six weeks because we don't do a monthly meeting anymore. We have them coming up all the time saying how we're strapped for cash, how we're going to have to try and do things differently because we're actually going to have to put sticking plaster over the provision of our services. And I think that Labour has articulated the argument that it's got to be done in a different way. And what we are offering to the table today is for Labour to get involved, yes, with the administration, is for Labour to get involved in taking Midlothian forward, to forget the referendum, and you can do that in your own time. Yes, you can, you can do that in your own time. But let's get on, all 18 of us, with representing the many, many people in Midlothian that voted in the council elections, and let's try and provide them with the best services that we possibly can within the financial envelope that we have. And therefore, I'm quite happy to second an alternative for the job today. Thank you. Are there any other nominations? No? Nope. Then... Councillor Bennett? No nominations, just observations. Yeah. Uh, once again... Uh, We've got a change of leadership, and the SNP's dominion power, or the, the coalition, I should say. And really, we've never had any reasons in the past why there's been a change to administration. Now, Bob's kidding that he's getting older, and Bob, I can, I can, I can share, but, but you did take on the position uh, a year and a half ago. There's rumours rife, not just within elected members, but rife within this council, that there's infighting, infighting take place in the group. I heard a rumour at the leadership change four weeks ago. It didn't come from senior management. It came from rank-and-file members who are hearing these rumours that the changes were going to take four weeks ago. Now, I think the people in Midlothian have the right to transparency, which they're certainly not getting for the present administration. I'd just like to say, Chairman, that splits in administration leads to bad government. The morality, the morality council is at rock bottom. Irrespective of who gets elected leader of the day, I, thought we, I th hope we can all pull together and try and bring some sanity back into the council, which isn't there at the present moment of time. No, I'm sorry, Brian. We're going to move to the vote now. Uh, you think you've had enough kicks here at, uh, at this? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. We're here for an election of the leader. Not to allow the opposition just to, to hammer on here. I haven't allowed... The, uh, hmm? Okay then. Thank you. Thank you very much for your indulgence in allowing me to make a, a short contribution. Because it is an important uh, decision. It's a decision that I've just been given at two minutes past twelve yesterday in an email uh, from Bob Constable. And it's, it's not a lot of notice to be given such a, uh, a prestigious decision. But then again, you know, the previous leader resigned of immediate effect also, and I wasn't given much notice uh, in that instance either. We, we've, we've worked the, with the, the administration who said that the portfolios were to fit the councillors and not the councillors to fit the portfolios. And when doing that, the, the, the idea was to give clear political leadership and also uh, to stable uh, remits and stable uh, uh, governance of this council. But the number of changes 
you know, is, is affecting the reputation of this council. The reputation uh, has been affected by the five cabinet members and the 13 changes that we have had since, since, since the, we've come into office. That's unacceptable. And, and really what we need to know is what is going on in the SNP group, what is going on behind the scenes, and why is it always resigning with immediate effect? Nothing against uh, uh, Owen here at all. You know, I thought he would have been a worthy leader a long time ago um, uh, of, of the SNP group and the, the, the ultimate the administration. But you know, we, we need to know what is actually going on. And is, is there constant changes? Is it continuing musical chairs? Or is, it, is this now you know, uh, the, the, the final uh, outcome? Thank you. Councillor Coventry. Yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit rich coming from the, uh, the Labour group. We brought in an, an redundancy policy, the, the SNP group, which was opposed by the Labour group. There's been no high school closures in Pennycook, something which was proposed before the, this administration came in. It's a living wage for em, uh, employees. Let's remember, before the council tax freeze, there was a 600% increase, 600 increase in council tax over the, the, the Labour years in power at Westminster. Also, they also left Midlothian with the worst record for school destinations, post-school destinations in Scotland. I think this administration has got a lot to be proud of. Thank you. We have two nominations, one for Councillor Mon uh, uh, Mulligan. Sorry. <laughs> And one for Councillor Thompson. Can I have a show of hands for Councillor Milligan, please? And for Councillor Thompson. Thank you. Congratulations, Councillor Thompson. Would you like to say something? I would I'd just like to say... A sincere thanks to colleagues for uh, this opportunity. I'm delighted to be given the, the, the chance to, to continue the work that Councillor Constable has uh, put in place for the administration over the last uh, almost 18 months. I think it's no secret Bob and I have worked together for a long, long time, um, well before we were in this council. It's probably almost uh, 20 years since we actually started uh, doing various political activities together. So. Uh, that might be uh, hard to believe, but it's, it's certainly very quickly coming upon that. And uh, obviously the support Bob gave me in uh, my first uh, period in the council after coming out of the by-election was, was invaluable. So, and I, I really want to put on, on record my thanks to Bob for, for the work he's done uh, in uh, leading this council over the last uh, period. He's, he's managed to deliver a significant amount, so any suggestions of the council being on hold or standing still, you only have to look at the achievements that have been uh, put through uh, in this last period to see that that is absolutely not the case. Um, we continue to, to drive forward, and I certainly now, uh, with this opportunity, look to continue to drive forward the, the changes that we need to make, given the, the, the financial pressures that we face. We, uh, we hear a lot uh, from the opposition, and I, I, I suppose I, I do I thank them for the, the comment that it wasn't personal. So uh, I, I didn't think it was, but um, well, we know that there's various motions that, that have to be gone through. Um, obviously, one of the, the priorities that the opposition didn't mention was their, 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 their drive to increase recycling rates, but I think recycling the press headlines from a, 18 months ago is maybe taking it a, a wee bit too far, and I don't think that that quite uh, counts towards the, the, the targets. But we need to. I think a number of the Labour members have actually made the point. We, we need to be getting on, we need to be sitting down and we need to be delivering. But that means taking part and being involved where the decisions are being made. Not simply releasing a press release and going directly to the press on issues. Come and take part in the meetings. We've got a business transformation steering group where a number of the issues that have been highlighted, particularly by Councillor Muirhead, could have been raised, discussed influenced and perhaps decisions made in a different way. There's a real opportunity. The Safer Communities Board 
direct interaction with the police and fire services and the wider safer communities agenda, there are still two vacancies on that board. So I, I as one of my first contributions as leader, would extend once again the invitation to actually take part in the workings of this council. Don't sit on the sidelines and complain. Get into the rooms where the decisions have been made, take part and have your opinions heard where it matters. It's one thing putting them out in the press and that's great for a headline, but that's tomorrow's chip paper. Get into the room, take part in the decisions and let's just get on and drive them forward Midlothian. And thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. That now creates a vacancy for the Deputy Leader, Councillor Thompson. Yeah, if I, if I may be so bold. Um, it was only, uh, well, it was really very suddenly that uh, obviously Councillor Coswell told uh, me just last week that of his intentions, so I don't know where the four weeks have, have come from. <laughs> it was only a week ago that I, uh, Bob actually spoke to me about the potential change. Um, and since then, obviously, I, I'm asking if Councillor Constable uh, will actually continue to act as my deputy. Um, I think the experience that Bob brings uh, to this and the fact that I think we actually have very complementary styles and approaches uh, will benefit and the, the working relationship we have will continue to benefit Midlothian. Um, I'm glad Bob has agreed to accept uh, the nomination from me because I, I took him literally when he said a less demanding role. Um, so the deputy is marginally less demanding than the leader. So uh, on that basis, uh, I would be delighted to nominate Councillor Bob Constable. Councillor Bryant. I would like to second that nomination and uh, I won't bore the chamber with anything I've got to say. Are there any other nominations? Okay, thank you. If there are any members of the public, could you please absent yourself from the chambers, please?